Here we have ion channel receptors. Again, this is a membrane receptor protein. And in this type of protein, we have a region of it that acts as a gate. Um, in this example, in the closed gate uh, formation, so the little blue part here, it represents the part that can change. Right now, it's like a gate that's closed. And this is going to block ions from flowing through the uh, protein into the cell. Now, um, if a signaling molecule comes and attaches to this ion channel receptor, it acts as a ligand, because remember, ligands are molecules that attach to larger, one, larger ones. So this is a ligand-gated ion channel. So here, when the ligand attaches, that causes the gate to open. There's a conformational change in the receptor protein. In this open form, ions such as calcium or potassium or sodium can flow freely into the cell. Now, when they flow into the cell, that will change the concentration of those ions intracellularly, <laughs> which can lead to a cellular response. Now, when the ligand dissociates or breaks off from the, the ligand-gated ion channel, that causes the gate to close. And once again, the ions are blocked from entering. Now in my example, I started with a closed gate that opened when the ligand attached. Uh, very likely, you could easily have a gate that's open all the time, and when a ligand attaches, it closes and blocks the flow of ions. So either way is totally possible.